Hello and welcome to Get Out Voice with the Tara Sampson Voice Studio. I'm Tara Sampson and today I have for you a quick look at a self-tape setup on a budget. So let's talk about performing. In the month since lockdown, most auditions have moved to a self-tape format. What was once specific to film and television has now reached all aspects of performing arts. And we've all had to adapt. The video you're watching today is being recorded in front of my self-tape setup. This isn't the same setup I would use for every single self-tape, but the examples I'm giving you today I'm using for this video so you'll get an idea of what these tricks might help you accomplish. Self-tapes do not have to cost a fortune. Of course, the better quality your supplies, meaning your phone, your microphone, your camera, your lighting, the better, but you don't have to go out and spend thousands of dollars to make a professional self-tape. Today, I will show you some tips and tricks to making a solid self-tape without breaking the bank. First, you wanna make sure that you're filming on the best camera that you have available. Again, I'm not saying you have to go out and buy a brand new camera just for a self-tape, but if you have a super old iPhone and a brand new MacBook or vice versa, make sure you're using the newer camera. Be sure you're placing your camera on something that will give it a solid base of support. You don't want a wobbly video. Now, most ring lights come with a holder for your phone, but if you're in a pinch or you're filming on something other than your phone, a music stand laid flat or even a stack of books on a table can work in a pinch. Second, lighting. Lighting is essential to creating a solid self-tape. If you can, invest in a ring light or two. These help to light you evenly. You want to avoid shadows covering part of your face or all of your face. And if you can't afford a ring light, no problem. Stand in front of a window. Face the window head on during the day and that natural light will help to light you evenly. Third, sound. If you're filming in a particularly echoey space, meaning you have tile, hardwood, or laminate floors, and there's nothing separating you in the walls like curtains, it's a good idea to add a rug or even some heavy blankets on either side of you. Maybe even on the floor if you don't have a rug. These don't have to be fancy, official, noise-reducing fabrics. Any thick blanket will do, or even layering thin ones. You can place them out of frame so they don't even have to look nice. No one will see them but you and it will really help your sound quality. Your microphone can also help to make or break your recording. If you're doing a scene or a monologue, you may want to invest in a lavalier microphone like this one. These can be found for as little as $20 for a pack of two on Amazon and they help to reduce extraneous noise and avoid that echoey sound that we don't love. If you're recording a song, a lavalier mic might be a little too close to your body to give you a good sound quality, but it kind of depends on the song and the style of song. So you may want to take a couple of takes using with and without your lavalier microphone to see which gives you a better sound quality. There's also some great recording microphones for under $200 that can connect directly to a device using a USB if that's in your budget, but don't fret if it's not. Next, you wanna think about your frame. What parts of you are actually in the picture? So consider the project. Most audition notices will give you the frame they want. If they want a full body, they'll say so. If they don't, it's safe to assume they want somewhere from the chest to the top of the head, maybe even a little wider from around the belly button to the top of the head. You don't want a ton of space above your head, but you also wanna make sure that you're not chopping off the top of your head in the video. Spend a few minutes trying out different frames, just slightly more forward or back, closer or farther away from the camera to find what you think fits the material best, shows you off the best, and also gives the auditors everything they're going to need to know from your performance. You also want to have a neutral background. 
So you want to avoid crazy wallpaper patterns or br super bright neon colors. A simple color that brings out your natural look is great. Avoid stark white or beige that you might blend into. Pale colors tend to work well, like a pale pink, blue, gray, lavender, and even darker tones like the navy you see behind me or a maroon. It depends on your coloring and also what you plan to wear. If you're gonna be wearing something super dark, go for a lighter background so we can really see you. If you're gonna be wearing something super light, maybe pop yourself in front of something darker. You can even tape a sheet to the wall if there's no wall in your house that fits this description. Make sure you use painter's tape instead of duct tape so you don't rip the paint off the walls. But any sheet will do. Go to Goodwill, grab a sheet that's a good color for your tape and throw it up on the wall. It will work wonders timing. Be sure to give yourself a few seconds before and after pressing record so you can edit out the part where you're reaching for the button. Giving yourself the extra few seconds will make editing so much easier, especially if you're like me and your talents do not lie on the cutting room floor. <laughs> Finally, speaking of editing, you don't need to purchase a five or $600 editing software to make a good self tape. I personally use Movavi video editor, but iMovie works just fine. And that comes free on any MacBook or even iPhone. You don't have to add crazy transitions or use edit your sound or use color correction. These things can definitely help and elevate your self tape, but they're not going to get you a job. At the end of the day, they're looking for your performance above anything else. These are definitely not the only ways to make a good self tape, but these are some quick inexpensive tricks to elevate your self tape and give yourself a nice professional quality video without having to spend thousands of dollars. All right, my friends, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please drop them in the comment section down below and please keep singing. <laughs>